Hello guys, good evening everybody. Welcome back to the class. Hope you are okay. Hello, Stella. Hello, uh, Jamie, good Alicia, good evening. Claudia, Paola, Albert, Emily, Patricia, Cristela, Luis Enriquez, hello, Carla and Alejandra, welcome back. So let's get started with the lesson. Hope you are okay. Yes. Okay, let's go with the lesson. Okay, in just a second, sure, welcome back to the ones that are joining. And um, we're going to uh, start with the lesson. Okay, tell me, uh, Paola, what did you learn yesterday? What did you learn yesterday, Paola? Hello, Paola? Uh, the uh, the board. Mm -hmm. sports. sports, very good. Okay, we learned some sports, right? Some vocabulary related to sports. Okay, what about you, Mar Maria? What did you learn in the last class? What did you learn, Maria? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué aprendimos? What did you learn? Yo me acabo de meter. No sé de qué. Okay, ¿qué aprendimos al día de ayer? What did you learn? What did you learn, María Maria? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yes, Aprendimos, eh, okay. los, no sé cómo se llaman, los adjetivos de frecuencia. Oh, adjetivos, yes. Frequency. Eh, always, mm -hmm. always, almost, always, usually, often, sometimes. Yes. Ever, almost, never, y never. Perfect. Thank you, Maria. We learned about the adverbs of frequency, right? As Maria said, we have sometimes, hardly ever, never, right? Ever to, and so on. What about you? What else? What else can you add? Um, let's see, Luis Enrique, to the information that we have. Some of your classmates say about sports, but what else can you add, Luis Enrique? I'm sorry, teacher. Can you repeat me, please? What did you learn last class? In the last class, what did you learn in the last class? Yeah, we. Uh, I, I learned about mm -hmm. the the frequency proverbs. That okay. Often, often, mm -hmm. uh, early. Uh, early. Mm -hmm. Hardly, hardly, never, never. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Usually, yes. Usually sometimes. sometimes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Luis. Okay, Cristela, and uh, what is the position of the frequency adverbs? What is the lugar right, of the frequency adverbs? Um, then the uh, subject mm -hmm. and the end of the... The uh, sentence, okay, of the sentence. Okay, of the sentence. Of the sentence. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, as Cristela said, right? ¿Cuál es el lugar de los frequency adverbs? No olvidemos que el sujeto, el subject, más el frequency adverb. El frequency adverb. Frequency adverb. Más el verbo, right? The verb. Okay, pues usually lo podemos encontrar en medio de subject and the verb. Hay algunas excepciones, por ejemplo, sometimes, que lo podemos utilizar al principio. The other sentence or in the middle. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Let's start with the lesson. And uh, here is the agenda for today's lesson. So today, yes. decimos, perdón, yes, María. Okay, please. Okay, uh, the, the structure, no sé si la estructura, María, of the frequency. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, sometimes. Okay, entonces tenemos, we have sometimes, eh, tenemos hardly ever. Teacher, teacher, no. Usted dijo que el sometimes lo podíamos ubicar, ¿dónde? Eso al principio, ubicar. al principio. Okay, okay, gracias. O al medio del de sujeto y el verbo. 
Okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, entonces, so we, we did the review. Ahora vamos a ver, avoid the mistakes, right? Sometimes we make some mistakes when we are using the frequency adverbs. Vamos a tener una práctica, practice, y vamos a hacer una speaking activity. Y si nos alcanza el tiempo, vamos a empezar con la lesson two. Recordemos, remember, que tenemos que hacer los quizzes, right? Que nos aparecen en la plataforma. Ok, vamos a eh, evitar, avoid, common mistakes, right? We usually do these mistakes when we are writing or when we are speaking. Can you help me reading, Claudia and Janet, please? Hello, Claudia. Okay. Let's see. Claudia. Okay, there you are. Mayuda, can you help me reading, Claudia? Sí. In simple present information question, use do or does before the subject. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Why does he drink so much coffee? Okay, thank you, Claudia. Tenemos el ejemplo. Cuando estemos utilizando las preguntas, no nos olvidemos del do y el does, right? Siempre lo vamos a utilizar in questions. Y va siempre antes del sujeto. Recordemos que el do, ¿con cuáles sujetos lo utilizamos? ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Cuándo utilizamos el do? ¿Con cuáles sujetos? ¿Con cuáles sujetos utilizamos el do? You. Ok, muy bien. Utilizamos I. You, muy bien. Utilizamos with I. Another. ¿Con quién más? We. Hey. They, muy bien. They. Especificidad. Uh -huh. What about does? ¿Cuándo utilizamos does en pregunta? She, he, 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 it. Yes, right. We use does with he, he, and it. Right? It. Okay. Thank you, Estela. And very important, no nos olvidemos nunca de eh, los auxiliares. Okay, so let's continue. Stella, can you help me with number two, please? Can you read it? Use, do, or does, not, is, or are, with the verb. What time is does the concert begin? Okay, thank you, Stella. Recordemos que cuando tengamos un verbo, right, no podemos utilizar el verbo to be, lo que nos dice la exception, right, tenemos que utilizar el das. ¿Por qué estamos utilizando el das? Tenemos el sujeto de concert que lo podemos sustituir por it, ok, y tenemos el verbo begin, right. Ok, okay. Let's, thank you, Estela, let's go Bye. with number three. Can you help me, Tatiana, play test, please? Do not use S on the verb with he, she, it, or singular noun. Where does Tom go to school? Ok, tenemos aquí un error, ¿verdad? En el caso que estemos utilizando he, she, or it, vamos a utilizar das. Pero el verbo no tenemos que agregarle ni S ni ES. Sometimes when we are speaking or when we are writing, Podemos cometer that mistake. So, let me know if you have questions before continue. No sé si hay dudas, questions. Not sure. No, okay, perfect. Thank you, Stella. Okay, so let's practice this information. Vamos a practicar this information and I want you to help me. No questions, everybody? Okay, I guess we are good with the topic. Ok, let's find out the mistake, right? Vamos a encontrar the mistake, the error in this paragraph. Okay, vamos a empezar. Tenemos el ejemplo, right? Can you help me, Jenny? Me ayuda a leer. Can you help me reading, Jenny? How, uh -huh. how do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Uh -huh. Answer, we eat a... Very big meal, turkey, mash, potato, vegetable, and pies for dessert. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Vamos, con, vamos a encontrar the mistake, right? 
of number two. Can you help me, Gabriela, please, number two? Okay, uh, where do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. uh, we usually go to the my aunt, go to my aunt and uncle's house. Okay, what is the mistake in ese caso, Gabriela? What is the mistake? Hmm, Gabriela, what sería el mistake? Your microphone, Gabriela. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, the position, uh, the frequency adverse. Okay. Is usually, is usually. Last. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Will be last. Okay, you said that it has to be in the last, right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aquí. Okay, that is one option that Gabriela is saying. Another option. Alguien tiene otra. Eh, el error, right? Ya encontramos el error. Another mistake. Verbo. Which verb? I think, I, I think the. In number two, where do you celebrate? I think the letter S is added. Yes, right. That, that is the mistake. That is the mistake. No podemos agregar S al verbo cuando, tenga, cuando tengamos you. Okay, very important that. Okay, let's go with number three. Can you help me? Patricia, please, Patricia, can you help me? Patricia, hello, no? Hey, can you help me, Carlos Dubon? Carlos Dubon, can you help me with number three? What are you doing during the Thanksgiving day? We usually go to a high school football game in the morning. Then we go to my home and uncle house and watch TV. Okay, what is the mistake? What is the error, Carlos? What is the mistake? Yes, Carlos? Hey, what is the mistake? Um, what is... What did mm -hmm. you do? What is you do? Okay, veamos. What is you do? Okay. Muy bien. Okay. That is the option that Carlos is giving. Another option, guys. Otra opción. What do you think is the mistake? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the mistake here is uh, is the the verb be that must be do. Mm -hmm. what do you and the this verb does uh, the letter es is other. I think that is the mistake. The complete sentences mm -hmm. will be what do you do. It can be, yes. We can have that option. Podemos tener esa opción as Luis said, right? Podemos tener, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, during Thanksgiving, right? O la otra opción, what are you doing? También, it's good. Okay, entonces, en este caso tenemos, we have to take is one right and change it okay let's go with number four tatiana can you help me what you watch on tv answer football of course it's thanksgiving tradition okay what is the mistake tatiana what is the mistake um, without auxiliary what do you do? Yes, right. Tenemos que agregar entonces en la auxiliar what do, do you, you watch, watch right? on TV. TV? Solo tenemos que agregar el do to the question. Okay, perfect, Diana. Thank you. Let's go with number five. Can you help me? Let's see, Alberto, please. Can you help me? 
Albert, segura. Number five. No? Okay. So let's see, can you help me? Let's see, Maria Luz de Nieto, can you help me with number five? Mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Hello, Maria. Puedo leerlo. Yes, please. Can you read okay. it? What time, what time are you usually have your meal? Mm -hmm. And we usually have our meal at about about 6 p.m. Yes. What is the mistake, Maria? What is the error in that sentence? Mm -hmm. Maria, ¿cuál sería el error? What is the mistake? Mm. Mm -hmm. Ok. No, no lo sé. Ok, vamos a ver entonces together. Tenemos acá el verbo are, right? Y no podemos tener el are cuando tenemos otro verbo que sería el have. Entonces, vamos a agregar el do. What time do you usually have your meal? Ok, very good. Okay. Thank you, Maria. Let's go with number six. Can you help me? Let's see, Patricia and Maris, please. Number six, Patricia, your microphone. Hello, Patricia. The microphone is not working. No, what do you do on Friday after Thanksgiving? I don't oh. go shopping. I usually sleep late mm -hmm. and then go to thinking. What's the real error? What is the mistake, Patricia? What did you? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yes, right. Vamos a agregar entonces en esta parte el do. What do you do on the Friday after Thanksgiving? Okay, muy bien, Patricia. Eh, Stella, please, the number seven. Okay, to you. Stella, please, number seven. Sorry. Eh, why people celebrate? Celebrated. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Answer. Because it's a special day to be together with all our, our families. We also remember the first traveling, traveling with the pilgrims. Pilgrims. And the Native Americans. Okay, so what is the mistake, Stella? What is the real error? What is the mistake? What sería the yeah. error? Yes? Mm -hmm. Sería que tenemos que agregar el do right in esta parte. Okay, guys, no sé si hay dudas about this topic. Este es un tema que lo estudiaron en el nivel módulo 1, me parece, del simple present. Así que este es un repaso, right, to No sé si hay dudas or questions about the topic. No questions? Okay. No so, okay, so we are good with the topic, right? Okay, now let's practice. Now vamos a practicar, right? I'm going to send you to WhatsApp this exercise. Vamos a hacer una actividad de speaking. Here, you are going to present your partner's information. So you have to ask the following information to your classmate. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Primero, usted va a completar esta información with your own information. Por ejemplo, eh, go to school. How often do you go to school? Eh, por ejemplo, you can say, I sometimes. And how often do you eat sweets? Okay, usted me responde, always, right? 
and so on. Una vez hayamos terminado eso, vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y usted le va a hacer las preguntas to your classmates, right? Por ejemplo, imaginémonos que yo estoy trabajando con Claudia. Entonces, Claudia me responde, eh, how often? Usted le hace la pregunta, do you go to school? Y ella le dice, que usually, right? Entonces, usted agrega y se cheque también para que usted tenga la información. Una vez usted haya terminado this information, vamos a pasar al third step. Y de esto donde usted va a presentar la información de su compañero. Por ejemplo, this is Miriam's information. She says she usually eats sweets. She usually goes to church. She usually studies. And so on. Does it say dudas about the activity? Questions, guys? No, teacher. Okay, so let's go and check uh, the information I'm about to send you in the WhatsApp group. Just give me a minute. And uh, I'm going to add you a PDF. Right? Remember, all of you are going to speak. That's the point here that you speak English. Okay, so give me see. This. Let me know if you can see it, please, and I'm going to give you time for you to complete the section. Let me know if you can see it, guys. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to give you, let's say, two minutes for you to complete the activity, and then vamos a pasar a los breakout rooms para que se pueda preguntar la información to your partner. Okay? So I'm going to give you the two minutes now. Ok, guys, time is over. Espero hayamos completado el chart, right, que les compartí en WhatsApp. Now, ahora vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y vamos a hacer las preguntas a su compañero. Ok, una vez tengamos la información, la vamos a presentar acá. 
Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions about the activity. Porque okay, después, you are going to present right information. No questions? Okay, so let's go to the breakout rooms. And uh, as I said, right, you are going to be practicing with your partner. The more you speak, the better. So let's go. Hello, Patricia, what happened? Patricia? Hola, hola, hello. Hello. You need to go to the breakout rooms. Necesitamos ir a los breakout rooms, Patricia. Bueno. Okay, and let's go, eh, Patricia. And uh, Carlos, what happened, Carlos? Internet, no for you. Okay, no problem, no problem. So let's go one more time. Let's see. Let's go, Carlos. And Patricia, ¿cómo vamos? Okay. Hello, Patricia, ¿cómo vamos? Okay. Hi, Patricia. Ok, let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Como no nos pudimos ingresar, trabajamos en este, en este grupo. Yo voy a estar en otro. So, you can practice, ok? I'm gonna just close my okay, mind. Thank you. Paint pictures. This meeting is being recorded. Hello, Luis, Albert, and uh, Rodrigo. Do you have questions? Uh, nothing. Always is clear. Always is clear. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll let you work, guys. Thank you. Always. Always. Almost never. Hello, ladies. Do you have questions or are we okay? Uh, okay. We are okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. I'll let you work, okay. ladies. Remember, in the room, you will have one minute, right? For you to present information of your partner. Okay. Take the WhatsApp. Okay. I share that with the WhatsApp. Okay. So I'll let you work. Thank you. Okay. Who's Ali? Go to sure. Never. Pain pitu. Always. Say I love you to your parents. Always. 
speak you sorry da wo shali okay finish thank you you're welcome okay patricia and carlos don't forget that vamos a tener un minuto okay donde ustedes van a presentar la información de su compañera por ejemplo, imagine que yo haya trabajado con usted, Carlos. Entonces, yo voy a presentar la información suya. Por ejemplo, Carlos says that he usually goes to church. Carlos says that he always eh, brushes his teeth. Entonces, vamos okay. a tener un minuto en el que usted va a hablar. ¿Ok? Ok. I can give you time for you to get ready. And then, if you have questions. Tell me, Catherine, oh, Catherine, what happened, Catherine? Problems, Catherine? No? Okay.
This meeting is so being guys, recorded. Guys, hope you finished the activity, right? Okay, I want you to choose a number from 1 to 16. Un número del 1 al 16 sin que se repita, please. Can you write it in the chat box, please? Podemos escribir in the chat box. A number from 1 to 15, sorry, del 1 al 15. Escojamos un número del 1 al 15. Eh, we cannot repeat the number. No podemos repetir el number. Ok. Ok, veamos. En el chat box de Zoom. Ok. Tenemos a Alejandra Snipe, Carla Verónica 14, 10, 8, 15. Todavía hacen falta. Ok, el que no escriba se repite, Patricia. Estela has the number. Ok, el que no escribe el number va a ser el primero in participating, right? Ok, veo varios que todavía no han escrito el nombre. Let's see. Ok, Paola, it's done. Veamos, Alejandra Cristina, your number. Do you have it, Alejandra? Ok, no lo veo, Alejandra, no yet. Veamos, ok, Alejandra. Carla Verónica, veamos, where is Carla Verónica? Do you have your number, Carla? No, no está Carla. Okay, vamos a elegir. We are going to choose the number. Y ese será el primero in presenting the information. Okay, vamos a escogerlo acá. And the number is, si sale acá el número, usted va a ser the first one, right? Así que, let's see the number. Veo el number six. Veamos quién es el number six. Do we have number six? Ok, vamos a elegir otro entonces. No, we don't have number six. Vamos a elegir otro. Number five. Vamos a estar number five here. Let's see. Oh, yes, Patricia, right? Ok. So, Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Estamos ahí. Hello, Patricia. Hello. Ok, Patricia, vamos a... We're going to present information, right? Recordemos que vamos a hablar de la información de su compañero. Por ejemplo, he says this is the information, right? Vamos a presentar para indicar the person we work. This is, en el caso que me parece que trabajo con Carlos. Carlos, information. Y luego empezamos con la explicación. He usually, he usually goes and so on. Ok, are you ready, Patricia? Are you ready? Yes, ok, vamos entonces to present the information. Give me just a second. Ok, vamos a tener one minute, right? For you to speak. She never eats sweet. Mm -hmm. Yes, Patricia, you can start. He, he always goes to the school. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. he usually he eats sweets. Mm -hmm. Continue, Pat eh, Patricia. We have more time. He, he sometimes goes to the dentist. Mm -hmm. He he never use, use the internet. Mm -hmm. He always have English classes. He Often brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. He always bring coffee. Okay, there you have Patricia. Very good. Ya cumplimos el one minute. Ahora le voy a pedir, okay. I will ask you, Patricia, que escojamos al siguiente, la siguiente person. ¿Podemos elegir any person from your classmate, please? Un número de doy. No, escojamos a, a, a algún compañero. Any partner. Mm. 
Pero voy a ver en el chat porque no me lo puedo. Ok, tenemos a Luis, we have María, Rodrigo, Albert, María, Emily, Carla, Alejandra. So, any Emily. person. Emily, ok. Hello, Emily. Estamos ahí. Hello. Someone there? No, parece que no está Emily. Okay, another person, but this. I'm here. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry, Emily. Go ahead, please. Okay, okay. Okay, please, Emily, let's present information. Are you ready, Emily? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hola, hola, Emily. Ahí, no sé si el micrófono lo tiene, Emily, porque no se escucha. Hello. Parece que no está Emily. Ok, eh, let's choose another person, Patricia. Otra persona, Patricia, please. ¿A quién, Patricia? Who is going to be the next person? Yo, the microphone, Patricia, please. Alejandra Cristina. Ok, Alejandra. ¿Está ahí, Alejandra? ¿Estás ahí? ¿No está Alejandra? Ok, o alguien más, alguien más. Eh, Patricia, please. Another person. Albert, Albert Segura. Albert Segura. ¿Estás ahí, Albert? Parece que no está Albert. Ok, let's choose another person, the last one. Eh, the last one, eh, Patricia. Choose another person. Teacher. Hola, Alejandra. Estamos listas. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Ok, let's present, please, information. Ok. Mm -hmm. We often go to school. We usually eat sweets. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go to the dentist. Um, We always have English classes. Uh, we always use the internet. We usually brush her teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, she drinks coffee every day. We eat fast food. Uh, always. Mm -hmm. No, she always eats fast food. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she got us. Go to the to the church, mm -hmm. and sometimes he read books. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he paints pictures. Sometimes she say no. Usually she say I love you to her parents. Okay, Alejandra, excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. Alejandra, can you choose the next person, please? Okay. Mm. Estela. Okay, Estela, are you there, Estela? Hi. Okay. Can, are you ready to present, Estela? Yes. Okay, go for it. She does go to school every day. Uh, she never eats sweets. No, no, you like. Uh, she use she go to dentist usual. Usually, she usually goes to the dentist. Mm -hmm. She always use the internet. She always brush you. Then she always eats fast food. Mm -hmm. She usual no. She sometimes go to sure. Mm -hmm. Then she sometimes read book and she. Never find pinchy. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Stella. Can you choose the next person, please? 
Andrea. Okay, Andrea, are you there, Andrea? Yes. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go for it, please. Okay, I'm going to explain the answer of my partner. Uh, she says me the she never goes to the school and she sometimes eats sweets uh, she always have english english classes classes and he almost never go to the dentist she always use the internet she always brush your her teeth um she almost always drink coffee she almost never eat fast food she sometimes go go to the church and sometimes she sometimes read books, never paint pictures, sometimes say I love you to her parents, and always feed her pet. Okay, thank you. It was a complete information. Can you choose the next person, please? Specifically a boy. Vamos a escuchar a boy. Can you please choose a boy, Andrea? Hello, Andrea, can you choose a boy? Veamos si, si están Luis ahí. Enrique. Okay, Luis, are you there, Luis? Is that Luis? Hello, yes. Luis. Okay, yes, there you. you are. Let me know thank if you, you are ready, please, Luis. He always goes to school. He okay. uh, sometimes eats sweet. He always go to the dentist. He always have English class. He always use the internet. He always brush your teeth. He sometimes drink coffee. He usually eat fast food. He never go to church. He always read books. He never pay pictures. He always say I love you to, to his parents. He sometimes feel his pet only. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Luis. Can you choose another person, please? Please. Luis, another person? Me, oh. teacher, espero esta vez no se me corte. Okay, Emily, okay, Emily, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, she's usually go to she sometimes going to go to a school uh, she sometimes eat sweet uh, she usually go to the dentist she usually have English class uh, she always use the internet she's always brush your teeth and she's often drink coffee. She's often eat fast food. She sometimes go to the church. Uh, she usually go uh, uh, read the book. Uh, she never paint picture. And she always say I love you to, uh, to your parents. And finally, uh, she always feeds your pet. Okay, perfect, Emily, on time, right? Okay, thank you, Emily. No sé si hay alguien más, somebody who wants to participate. Me, teacher. Me, me, okay, let me see. Oh, 
Mi Carla. Ok, Carla. Yes. Okay. This is Maria Luz and Emily information. She sometimes go to school. She often have English classes. She never finds pictures. She always eats sweets. She often eats fast foods. She usually read books. She always says I love you to their parents. And she sometimes goes to school. Okay, Carla. Okay, that's the information we have, Carla. Thank you. Anything else? Somebody else who wants to present information? Me, teacher. Okay, me. Okay, déjenme ver. No veo ahí el nombre. Veo a Estela, pero solo veo a Estela. ¿Quién? Me. 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 Oh, okay, Paola. Okay, Paola. Thank you. Let's yeah. go, Paola. Yeah. And then Maria. Okay, Maria. Primero, first okay. Paola, and then Maria. Okay. This is Alejandra's information. She says um, goes usually to a school. She uh, always eats uh, sweets. She goes uh, often goes to the dentist. She uh, often always has English classes. She usually use the internet she always brushes your hair teeth and she uh, sometimes drinks coffee she uh, never eats fast food she uh, sometimes goes to chores she uh, sometimes uh, reads books she never paints pictures. She sometimes says, I love you, her parents. And she always feeds her best. Okay, thank you, Paula. Congratulations. Let me just congratulate you. You did a very good job. Hey, Alejandra, are you ready, Alejandra? Let me know. Hello, Alejandra. Yes. Okay. Are you ready, Alejandra? Are you ready? Okay. Go for it, please. Yo ya pasé. Oh, perdón, perdón. No me recuerdo quién era. Me, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry, Maria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you ready, Maria? The information is Emily and Carla. Mm -hmm. She never goes to a school. She always eats sweet, sweet. She usually goes to the dentist. She always have English class. Mm -hmm. She always use the internet. She often brush your teeth. teeth. She never drink coffee. She always eats fast food. She usually read books. She never paint pictures. Picture. She always say, "I love you." Uh, her parents. She sometimes um, put her pet. Okay. Thank you, uh, Maria. So, um, tengo un espacio para alguien más. Just for it's, one person. It's teacher. Okay, thank you, Maria Veronica. Sí. Usted? Yes. Okay. Let's go, Maria. I present my partner. Uh, she sometimes go to school. She always hit sweets. Um, she often go to the dentist. She always have English class. She always use uh, the internet. She always brush your teeth. She often drink coffee. She often eat fast food. She sometimes go to church. She sometimes read books. She never paint pictures. 
She usually say, I love you to your parents. She usually fed your pet. Okay, thank you, Maria. So, guys, because of the time, por el tiempo, no vamos a pasar eh, todos, right? Pero el día de mañana, si usted lo quiere hacer, I can give you time at the beginning of the lesson. Okay, so, vamos a ver algunas oraciones que necesito, le buscamos mucha atención, porque al nivel que estamos, ya no podemos cometer these mistakes. Okay. El primero es que siempre que estemos utilizando she, he, or it, recordemos que tenemos que hacer un énfasis en el sonido del verbo. ¿Qué me refiero? Por ejemplo, cuando decimos she usually, digamos. She usually go. La mayoría escuché que dijo, no todos. She usually go. Tenemos que hacer énfasis en el sonido de la E es She usually goes to church. También escuché que me dijeron She usually use the internet. Estamos hablando de he, she, or he. Tenemos que hacer énfasis en el sonido. She usually uses the internet. ¿Qué les digo esto? Porque eso es lo primero que se fijan las personas cuando usted va a una entrevista. Que usted pueda identificar o que pueda usar correctamente los verbos, las expresiones y todo eh, lo que in incluye en in English, right? Another important thing, algo muy importante cuando estamos utilizando el verbo have. El verbo have es el verbo tener, right? Pero cuando estamos hablando de ella o él, decimos she. Has. She has. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuál era la oración? ¿Quién me recuerda que estamos utilizando has? He has. She. No me recuerdo. Yes. She has English. Muy bien. Thank you. English classes. La mayoría me, me respondió esta pregunta. Esta respuesta. She has. Y esto no lo podemos hacer. We can't that make that mistake. Okay, así que tengamos cuidado. También otra oración que se escuchó bastante eh, frecuente fue She brushes. Bueno, ella se pilla sus dientes, right? She always. Hay algunos que me dijeron She brushes your teeth. Cuando decimos your teeth, se están diciendo que ella siempre lava mis dientes. Y eso no es así, ¿verdad? Ella siempre lava sus dientes. Entonces, ¿cuál es el posesivo? Para ella, ¿cuál sería? Hair. Hair. Okay, thank you. Ok. Entonces, tengamos mucho cuidado. Let's take care, right? Take care. Algo también muy importante que me pude dar cuenta es que estamos confundiendo he con she. Ok. Recordemos, she es para ella y he es para él. No sé si hay dudas, questions. Los invito siempre a participar. If you have questions, you should ask, guys. This is the only time you have for you to practice. No sé si hay dudas. I repeat, questions. No questions? Okay. No questions. So, no questions. Okay. So practice this exercise. Practiquémoslos. And you will see good results in the future. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming. Recordemos, seguimos de lunes a jueves la otra semana. And uh, if you want to say this presentation, les voy a dar unos minutos al principio de la clase, solo me recuerdan. And if there is nothing to say, guys, I will say goodbye. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Teacher. Yes. Sala. ¿Es Hello. posible que nos comparta la presentación, por favor? Fíjese que no puedo compartir la presentación porque eh, es una presentación bastante grande. Entonces ahí voy incluyendo todo el, el material. Lo que sí puedo hacer es compartirle, eh, por ejemplo, las imágenes que hemos visto. ¿Qué es lo que he Perfecto. estado haciendo? Sí, ahí estoy compartiendo todo, Patricia. Desde ayer empecé a compartir okay. la información. Ok, thank you. Okay, see you ladies. Have a good night and boys too. See you. See you.